moving his toes and shit. Did you follow up with him later on in life? Did is he like? I think I might have talked to him like one time after that, and then that's it. I haven't talked to him since. But people shit, are saying this like is like a miracle like thing. Man, for my knees it did wonders. For my hands it did wonders. You know, I uh, from like wrestling and then getting kicked in the knee and then all the constant like road work that we do. I have like uh, and I've also torn my meniscus like three times on this knee, twice on this one. I never did the repair because my my coaches and friends that had done like the knee repair would say, well, it, you're gonna be out for six months with the repair, and on top of that, if it breaks, it's like a lot worse now. It's like way worse, you know, because they're putting like man-made parts in you. It's not the same. They're sewing yeah. you up. So what I always opted to do was a uh, rehab. And I would turn my meniscus and do rehab, I don't know, three to six months just to, like, strengthen back up and get it right. But that developed, like, a ton of scar tissue. So I really couldn't, um, for one obvious uh, reason that I knew I had to get something there, I couldn't break parallel, like, on squats. It'd be, like, the most fucking painful thing. If I had weight on me, it would, like, destroy my knees to break, like, parallel. So my range of motion was shit, you know? And, um, and I'm also known for throwing really good knees, right? So I should have some fucking range of motion on them so I could bring them up higher, lower, whatever. And uh, I went there, did it, like a month later, break parallel, like nothing happened, still to this day, you know? So I definitely 100% believe in the Was it before or after Ben? After, way after. Maybe like two years after that one. I was about to say, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. When you yeah. did that, when you knocked him out with your knee, did you know that you were going to do that when the, like, the fight was about to start? Was that your plan or was it spontaneous? So we, we practiced that for a while, right? And then we, were, we didn't know if we were going to do round one, round two, or round three. And also, I wanted to, like, read him, you know, last minute. Like, is he feeling aggressive? Because I also don't want to throw and then, like, ah, oh, I missed my chance. So I'm kind of like, let, let me see how he's acting. And how he was acting, he was giving me all the indications. He's going to try to sniff my crotch. I said that. I said he's going to swoop in. Yeah, yeah. He's going to swoop in. He's going to try to sniff my crotch because that's what he does. Just like Kobe, they just want to sniff another man instead of punching, you know? How could you tell from him standing across from you? The, the way that he was acting, he was very, like, you know, trying to go forward, forward, and the referee's like telling him to step back. I'm like, yeah, he, he thinks he's just gonna get right into his wrestling shit. <laughs> Not, you know? I showed Crazy. Bell that, and I was like, yeah, he was trying to swoop, that's why he did it. He's yeah. like, really? I'm like, yeah, I did that. 